Carolyn Dunn's YouTube channel is the best. Time to make the biscuits. Thank you all for being here today to witness this incredible achievement. Hi, I'm Caroline. The videos you just watched I created with VO3 in Gemini from Still Photos. In this video, I'll show you how I made each of these videos. And this isn't just a novelty. You could animate old family photos to create a birthday or anniversary gift. For business, you can turn static product shots into dynamic video ads. Or you could bring history to life by animating an old photo for a museum or documentary project. Now, full disclosure, I'm on the Google One Ultra plan, which is currently about $250 a month. I actually got the Ultra plan for free for the first three months. There is also a $20 a month plan, but I haven't tried it, so this video is not going to be a comparison of what you get for $20 a month versus $250 a month. You can get to view in a few ways, such as with an API or in labs with Flow, but I'm gonna stick with Gemini today because it's easy to use. I'm on a Mac, but Windows works great too, and I'll even show you the Gemini mobile app later. Ready? Now let's get started. And we have reached the screen record portion of our video. I'm just gonna go to Google Gemini. The URL is gemini.google.com and this is what it defaults to. And to get to the video making, you click tools and then you click videos with VO, add photo. Now I tried to drag and drop. I think there's a glitch, it didn't work for me. So in order to add a photo, I clicked add a photo. And then you're supposed to describe the video you want to make. But before we go into that, I just want to show you a technique I've seen a lot of people use that I think may or may not be helpful. To do that, you open another Gemini screen, Ask Gemini, just the regular Ask Gemini, no, no tools or anything. And then you just say, hey, help me craft a prompt. Hey, I want to make a video with VO3. Help me craft a prompt to show me at a book signing in a bookstore with a large crowd standing in line waiting for me to sign their book. I will thank my readers for supporting me. I will provide a photo of myself and my book. And then I'm gonna hit submit and then we're gonna let it tell me how I should craft this prompt. And then the response is, of course, crafting a prompt is really cool, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of gives me a speculation flag, very nice. And then it gives me option one, standard prompt, option two, detailed atmospheric prompt, and then option three, filmmaker prompt, multi-scene. Wow, uh, it does say 15 second. I don't know why it can't actually, it's limited to eight seconds right now. Would have hoped it would have been a little bit more smarter about that, but that's okay. Let's just go with prompt one and I'm gonna change, you know, where it says reference of image. Of you. I'm gonna change all that. So now I'm back in the first Gemini screen that I showed you where I have video selected, I have uploaded my, and I'm going to use the prompt that was crafted. It's me in the photo, the book should match the book in the photo, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and we're gonna hit submit. And there we go. And it's gonna take a few minutes for this. Get in your video, could take a few minutes. All right, so we'll be back to this and I'll show you some videos I've already created while we're waiting. Number one, I uploaded this photo to Gemini. And it's me and my husband, we're standing at Yellowstone National Park. Note he is wearing a purple shirt. When I did the prompt, I did change the guy in the purple t-shirt to a tuxedo and have one person say, Caroline Dunn's YouTube channel is the best. Both people should climb on top of the sign. And then it goes into thinking for two to three minutes. We're gonna skip that. And then it says, I'm generating video. And then you get to watch the video. And it's really cool. Carolyn Dunn's YouTube channel is the best. And the person on the right kind of looks like me. I think it's kind of cool. The clothing is about the same and um, it might not be the exact thing, but I think it's great. 
Let's go to the next video that I made. So in this video, I uploaded a photo of my cat. Look at her, her name is Cosette. The prompt I used is a cinematic, hyper-realistic 4K video of this cat wearing a tiny, ill-fitting chef's hat. The cat works at a bakery and is intensely kneading a piece of dough with its paws, sending little puffs of flour into the air. The lighting is warm and dramatic, like a professional baking show. The cat says, time to make the biscuits. It thinks for a few minutes, and then here's the video that it makes. Time to make the biscuits. Notice there are eight second videos. That's the maximum amount of time that you get for a video. Didn't really come out the way I had hoped it was gonna come out, but hey, not bad. You know, going from this to this, it kind of doesn't really look my, like my cat either. That's the other issue I kind of have with this but not bad. Next, Google Gemini. In this one, I uploaded a vertical photo of myself, and then I said create a video where I'm giving a keynote speech on a large stage in front of hundreds of people, and everyone is applauding. Oh, that was, that was so magical. So here is that video. Thank you all for being here today to witness this incredible achievement. Look at that. Everybody is giving me a standing ovation. I think that turned out pretty well. It kind of looks like me. You can't really see my face, but next, let's go to an example where I uploaded another vertical shot and I wanted to uh, tango. So I make a video of this couple dancing the tango in a large ballroom like a James Bond movie. It didn't really capture that. Uh, so here is the video. And I liked how it added the music. So now I'm gonna show you an example where it didn't go well. And I think the problem was I had too many people in the photo. I think you kind of have to limit it to one or two people or one main subject. This is me and my five friends. So there are six of us, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wanna note that there's a specific reason I'm noting that for the purposes of this illustration. There are six people in this video, right? Okay, so then I said, hey, create a video of the people in this photo climbing on top of the structure and then jumping. Here's the video. Hey, everybody ready to jump on three? And now there's seven of us. So I, I became two people. That's me on the left. Uh, and then now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was really weird. The fourth person over from the left doesn't really look like the original. Her hair, she has brown hair. And when she turned around, she became a blonde. That was really weird. The guy in the middle in the black, he doesn't even climb up on the structure. It did not come out well. I don't like this. I'm not going to be using it. That's why you didn't see it in the intro. It did better with only five people in the photo. And the prompt was make a video where the five people in this photo jump up at the same time and freeze. Didn't exactly do that, but hey, not bad. We are actually all jumping, but no freezing. And here is another bad example where I tried to use Gemini from my phone. Here I've taken a picture of my cat or uploaded a picture of my cat. Create a video of this cat saying, time to feed me. The setting is a cat restaurant. And then it makes the video. To feed me. It sort of looks like my cat. Doesn't look like she's doing much. Now I wanna come back to the original request I made in Google Gemini at the beginning of this video. I asked it to create a photorealistic 4K author of me, blah, blah, blah. And let's see what it came up with. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now there's this huge line of people. I'm in a bookstore. Thank you all so much for your support. Yeah. Oh, wow, and they're cheering for me. Excellent. It does have my book and all these people standing there. And there you have it. Some videos are better than others. This is still relatively new and I think it will only get better from here. Since this requires a paid Google plan, if you don't want to pay to try this out for yourself, you can either sign up for a free trial or pay someone on Fiverr with a paid plan to do this for you. I did a quick search on Fiverr before I made this video and found tons of people willing to use their Google Ultra plans for you. Now, I'd love to hear your ideas. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see with your photos. If you're excited about this new era for creating videos, do me a favor, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss what's next. I'm gonna make a part two of this video with Gemini with VO3. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.